Hi there, this is Linda and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In this video, I'm putting together the week of May 15th through May 21st, 2023 in my Project Life album. And I'm going to be working with the photo story play mini kit from Allie Edwards. If you follow the Allie Edwards account, they worked with this kit maybe a couple weeks ago doing a mini album about photos. I chose not to do that project, but I did pick up the kit because I loved the universal theme of it for photos, which is just something that I love. And I decided to use it in my Project Life album. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so I have my photos cropped out here, and then I'm just gonna go through the kit quickly. So the kit comes in this fun envelope, which unfortunately mine got squished in my drawer, so some of the papers got a little squished, but I'm gonna make it work. This I think would be super fun to cut up and use these as embellishments. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that on here. You also could just use this as a patterned paper. So I'm keeping that in mind. Um, this kit does come with some six by eight papers and these two, it comes with these two six by eight papers that are very prompt based and I'm not going to use these in here. Now, if you only do pocket pages, you could make these work in pocket pages. These could very simply be cut out and they would fit inside the pockets. And this one I think would be a little bit harder, but you could crop this down and get these words like in a four by six, even if it doesn't quite fit, so it would either be like cut off a little on the edges, or you could cut out each word as a separate piece of paper and put it in a four by six, and then I would cut these out and maybe cut them down to three inches across and make this a header for journal cards, and maybe scrap these or just use them as little like journaling spots. So you could make these work in pocket pages if you wanted to. Um, I'm not planning on doing that because I do keep a six by eight album. So I'm gonna just put those away for now. There's also this vellum, which I am so annoyed I bent the vellum. Um, but I'm going to, I think, use this for my title card because there aren't four by six photos, I mean cards, but let's go ahead and see what else is in the kit. So there's this three by four stamp, which I think is super versatile. A lot of these stamps are super tiny which is something I don't have a ton of these really small stamps, but I think that that's really great for pocket pages because the pockets are so small. Smaller words and things work really well on them. This photo log one also would be really great for adding some small journal spots on photos, so I might do that. There's the chipboard sheet, which these are just all very useful. So um, this kit was created for a specific project, but because everything's photo-based, it's so generic. It works very well for really whatever stories you want to tell. Like you could use this in week in the life. You could use this for a day in the life. You could use this for a week, like a weekly spread or a monthly spread in project life, just um, a collection of photos, whatever you wanted. And then here we have some labels. So I think there's, let's see, two sheets of these label circle stickers, which are great for adding extra journaling onto my photos. And then I have the three by four cards. So again, these are like very generic sentiments. They're very photo based, but that really could work with any kind of story. So I'm very excited about it. So there's the story of this photo, date taken, location, details, currently through the lens, photo love, imperfect photos still tell stories. This photo documented a moment, a memory, a story, photos, 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 photo story, here are the details, and then so thankful for this photo and this story. So when I was living this week, I had not yet planned to create my spread focused around photos, so I wasn't really thinking about it when taking my photos for the week. I just ended up, you know, taking photos as usual. Some of them came out great, some of them didn't, some things I don't have a photo for at all, um, but I think it works. So I'm just looking kind of at these cards and before I printed out my photos, I did decide that I wanted this one for here because it is kind of an imperfect photo. And then I'm gonna just journal about it. So I went on a hike this week on Sunday. So I have this from the hike. So I wanna include that here as a four by six or yeah, probably here. 
And then let's see, I have two more photos from the hike here. And I think I want to have some journaling about the hike. So I'm thinking I'm going to maybe use this one to journal about the hike. And then I have this one because I had some photos taken at the peak. I got, I am, um, I had someone who is there take a photo of me and it, they didn't come out great, but you know, it is what it is. It still shows that I made it to the top of this peak and I did not measure this correctly. I didn't realize it wasn't a square. So I'm going to have to, you know, add some embellishments or something to make that um, fit. But I think that that'll be fine. I can maybe, let's see. I'm just going to open these up. And like I said, these chipboard pieces are all very generic and very like just things that you can use on a lot of stories. So thinking maybe currently like that. And I like because this is PS, so it's almost like currently is the title. So I like that. Um, and then I also was thinking that I could put like this one on here or something like that. And I'm also thinking I will add some of these to add some words. So the other story I wanted to include on this side, I have a photo that is off camera of one of my friends who's very photo shy. Um, so I wanted to kind of tell the story about that. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do a flip up because I can't show that photo online and just use that. So I'm thinking though that this can't really be on this side. So maybe I'm going to move the hike. I think I'm going to move the hike to the top here. And then I'm going to put this right here with the flip up. And then I have this photo right here. And this photo I just took one night in my neighborhood and it's just gorgeous. And I think this photo magic is just perfect for it because like, I don't know, I just loved the coloring and I just saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to take this photo. Okay, so then I have this one, says this photo, and I printed out this screenshot of a Zoom call or I think it was on Zoom, whatever it was. It was a video chat with some of my craft friends. And I'm thinking either I wanna use that one or here. I think this one, because I want to be able to add a little bit of journaling on here about us getting together to chat. Then of course, here's my title card. I'm just laying everything out first. And then I have this photo of my daughter and her boyfriend that I snagged off of her um, Visco. And um, I think that that's kind of fun. I can maybe add like this through the lens on here or something because, and then I'll add like a circle to say, you know, snagging photos off her Visco is one way that I can get photos of her life. And then let's see here. And also her boyfriend, um, I have heard that he watches my videos. So he'll be happy to know he has two photos on here. So they also had their senior um, banquet and that photo was from that. And then let's see here. So then we had, it was her birthday and I didn't get a good photo for her birthday, um, but we did celebrate. So I think I'm going, and I have a photo of what we made for dinner. So I think I, maybe I'm just gonna actually, you know, this one we do. I'm gonna put this one here. Hmm. So I'll put, just trying to rearrange. I like to have a full photo next to the title card. Um, so I want, this one is just going to be like my, my stories from this week, but one of them is going to be my daughter's birthday, which I feel bad that I don't have like a better photo for it, but that's all that I just didn't take a photo of her. And then this one that says photo love, I just want to include that. So there, I think that works as a good spread. And then let's see here. So I need to crop this one down. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quickly. So I'm going to make this into a title card. And I could, um, I could, I have more of this left and I know it's bent there, so it's going to not be perfect, but I think maybe I have enough without getting the bent part. Yeah. To get my four by six. And so the worst of the fold is right there. And then I can use maybe some more of this. I can cut it out and use it on other spots, either on here or in another project. So I will end up 
putting whatever's left in my scrap drawer. Um, this right here is my um, just sticky note of like the stories from this week. So typically I would line vellum with like white paper, but I already did the week before and right here I have a white back card and there's no real reason to line it because that white card is perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add one of these on here and add the dates. So let's see, we're looking at May 15th, 2023. Where's my ink pad? Through May 21st. There we go. And then I'm thinking, do I wanna include one of these on here? because it's kind of, you know, maybe like around here. Be, eh, I feel like this is too, like needs to be the center, but maybe like this one, I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this on here just to kind of add a little bit of something else to this title card. Okay, then let's see here. This is going to be for the senior banquet. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add one of these and I'll add some journaling on there. Um, I'm gonna save the journaling and do that when you guys are on fast forward because I can't talk in journal, um, but I can add the stickers. So there, then let's see on here. Actually, so I put that one, but then I'm thinking so thankful for this image would be good because it's the idea of like stealing photos from her, her visco. So I guess the question is, do I want to put one of these and add? I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this on here. And I'm gonna add this like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna adhere this one down. And this page is just, like this spread is coming together super simply because I think this kit is just so easy to work with to tell really any stories because we're telling stories about, you know, our life, but through photos. And so all of the products kind of fitting because these are about photos. Then I definitely want this on here. And I was thinking I wanted to use the stamp some places, but I have stuff for every pocket already. I might use it on the inside of here because in my flip up, um, although maybe I'll use this card like this and tell the story and then have the photo there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for my flip up. And then this is gonna be journaling about my hike. Now I like this here, but I don't like that these are the same. So I'm trying to see if there's something else I could do to embellish this one so it's not following that same pattern. Um, while I think about that, I'm gonna go ahead and hear this down. And put the currently right here. I love how that just kind of worked out with this where it says imperfect photos still tell stories. Um, pretty much every week I have at least one imperfect photo. So I think that that's, um, you know, great. And then I have these circles over here and not on this side. So I definitely want to add some. I'm going to add one on here with this little guy. And then let's see. I think I could just add this, like this photo little circle. that and then hmm what do I want to add on these two and also do I want to add one on here because I am going to tell the story of her birthday on there but I think I'm gonna just put this here because this is her dinner her birthday dinner that she requested so I'll tell that story 
And then let's see. Thinking maybe I'll put this one on here. And then I might just leave that one. When I have these big photos like this, I always like to include chipboard at the top, but yeah, I don't love that. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave it with no embellishing, which is fine because it's the only photo that has no embellishing. Um, usually with like a scenic photo like that, I would include something at the top there, but I really wanted this one and I just didn't want it to be the same. I also don't really want to put a label on it. Actually, maybe I will because I want to use up this sheet and I think I could easily put it right here and I could add details about like the distance hiked and that kind of stuff on there. Now, I don't love that these all have the circles like in the same spot in a row. Um, I could switch these. I think I like that better. And then let's see, I think that that's good. So basically all I need to do now is my journaling and then create my flip up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on fast forward while I work through my journaling and I will create my flip up off camera and let you guys see the finished spread. Okay guys, this one really came together quickly and as you saw, I did most of it in real time with you, but I did wanna put it on for fast forward and do a voiceover for the journaling because I can't talk and write at the same time. I hope that this voiceover works fine because there are gardeners outside. It is a beautiful sunny day here, but they're going to be mowing for quite a while. I feel like it's this time of year when there's always someone mowing their lawn. So hopefully that background noise is not too disruptive. I have to say that I absolutely love these circle stickers that came in this kit. They are just such a versatile, basic label. And I think that that was one of the reasons why I was drawn to this kit in the first place is that it's just a lot of versatile products that you can use in a lot of different projects. And although I do have a fairly large stash of products, a lot of the things that end up sitting in my stash for a long time are very specific and they're harder to use for me because you have to tell a specific story. So something like this will definitely get used very quickly in my stash. I decided to pull over this stamp set, which I have linked down below. I picked it on, on Amazon and I used it just to stamp out 18 because it was my daughter's 18th birthday and also how far I hiked on Sunday on this one. And I like that repetition of stamping numbers on multiple circles. So I look for opportunities like that to stamp titles or something along those lines that could be repetitive across the spread. For this card here, I'm telling the story of the hike I went on. All I did was added the rolling date stamp for the date of my hike. I wrote out the location of my hike and I'm just writing out kind of where I went and everything. I do keep a separate hiking journal, which I have not shared on my YouTube, but I have shared back on my Instagram in the past. And my hiking journal is very simple, but it has some statistics and like details about my hikes. And I try to fill it in after each hike. I do want to include photos in there, but I don't always get to that, which is one of the reasons I haven't shared it recently. But I am looking at that off camera to kind of get some of the details of this hike to fill in this journaling card. After I finish this journaling card, I'm going to work on that card that says currently through the lens and has spot for five stories. So I think that this card originally was really more of a photo based prompt where you are supposed to write out five things that you are taking photos of or looking at through the lens. But I took it as a prompt to just be more general of five stories about right now, because I'm always looking through my lens, right? I'm always looking to take photos of things. So these are just five things that are going on in my life. And this is just kind of a must have card for me in any project life spread to include those little stories that don't either have photos or are just it's very small and just take up a couple of lines. So I told a couple stories here, including my daughter's birthday, which 
could potentially have used a larger card, but it, between that and the label on the photo of the dinner we had, I think there was enough space to tell that story. Off camera, I created my, that flip up photo pocket um, that says photos, 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 and I used some white washi tape to create the flip up. And inside, I just used one of the cards from the kit with some journaling and a photo. Here's a look at that finished spread. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.